Hello, in this video I'll show you how to get some cool chamfer details, or a detail that other programmers would get using chamfer boolean polygons. But real quick guys, I've got two new courses on Udemy, Ultimate Sci-Fi Soldier and Plasticity Modeling Guide. So guys, Plasticity 1.0 is now out, the program is pretty much at a good state, I like using this program guys, it's really fantastic, it's hands down the best 3D modeling program I've ever used. It's fantastic, and this guide will show you how to create this awesome uh, industrial mech. As for the sci-fi soldier, I've got some really good ZBrush hard service scuba techniques, and then a lot of 3ds Max clean topology, so you get the best of both worlds guys. Really cool hard surface ZBrush techniques, and then all the retopology process of the Max, all the Max videos are unsped up, and the videos in ZBrush are a little bit sped up. So essentially guys, the purpose of this one is not to overwhelm you with dozens of hours of content, but just to have really streamlined, just like the best of the best techniques for retopology and sculpting. So guys, check out those courses, links are in the description. Let's continue. So I will show you several methods. Let's uh, select this, Shift D. All right, so, First thing we can do is I can press Shift A to create a line. I'll hold Shift to constrain to the face, and then I'll left click here and kind of move it up there on the Z. And then I will Shift D to move that off to the side. All right. I'll press C. I'll select that. Hold Shift and select this line as well. And I can delete this. All right. Now that I've got this, I can select this and I can press D. Actually, so you can press D and then C, or you can simply just press C. All right, so now that you've got that, you can select these objects, Q, Q. Now you can select these two edges and D, and there is the cool detail right there. At this point, you can select this, delete that, select that, delete that, and then you can uh, fill up this to your heart's content. You can also select all these edges and press D to fill up them all simultaneously. All right, that is one way. On the way, you can just uh, shift D to clone this out here. You can go ahead and kind of clone out this box wherever you need it to be. So you can get this, for example, you can select this, hold shift, select that, Q, right click. We now have this. We can uh, modify this, pressing D. All right, so now we can select that and press D to fill it that. Then we can fill it these two things. And there we go, guys. We now have this detail right here. And I also want to mention how overpowered the plasticity is. You can, you can select this and just, uh, you know, D all the way down, or you can even go up like that. They can select that and rotate that on the X axis. And maybe you can select both of them, rotate them both on the X axis. Get this nice little dancing effect. Step to the left, step to the right. One step this time, all right. And I also want to show you this thing you can do right here, for example. So. You know, you've got this, you can select this single edge and the C to chamfer that. So here's a really cool thing, guys. You can then select this face and just X to delete that. X to delete this. And as you notice, just, just really cool things, guys. Just really cool things happening here. You can then fill it to your heart's content. So it's just, uh, it's just really fun to, uh, to work with this CAD program. And uh, it's just hard to find limitations in it. I feel like you can do just about anything. So guys, that has been some really cool chamfer techniques. Thank you for watching and take care.